Ni hao! I'm Sansa. This is Tom Riddle. And today we're making orange chicken. At first, make sure that everything's clean and sanitary. Let your health inspector take a look at all the stuff you're gonna use. Is it okay, Sansa? Yeah, you're not supposed to be on here. For oh, Christ's sake. I'm sorry if that grossed you out. Anyways, orange chicken. You would probably expect that orange chicken is an authentic Chinese dish, probably hundreds of years old, um, given China's long culture and with different compositions and variations and styles changing from region to region. Nah. <laughs> Orange chicken was invented by Panda Express in the 80s. Ah, it's famously known to be Amberlynn Reed's go-to food at any given restaurant. So I got their orange chicken, kung pao chicken, white rice, a spring roll, and a chicken roll. I am going in for the orange chicken. I would show myself taking a bite, but I look like a crazy person right now. You can probably hear me chewing. Mmm. You can definitely tell it's not like authentic, but it's so good still. All right, you guys. So I got Panda Express again. I just got some Crab Rangoon. I really like the orange chicken and the rice together. So that is what I got. And today I'm trying to give her a little educate. No, to give her a little inspiration how to cook it herself with um, actually fewer calories than the restaurant version. One serving at Panda Express has five. 5.7 ounces. Let me know. Yeah, 5.7 ounces, and that's roughly 162 grams. And it has allegedly 370 calories, although that's rather hard to say because it's uh, deep fried. The chicken is deep fried. I don't know if they weigh the oil before and after, and <laughs> by this, calculate how much oil soaked in uh, the batter. I don't know. But I don't trust these numbers. Okay, let's see if we can manage a version of this dish that uh, leaves you satisfied and with a good conscience. So, we're gonna need, for the better, flour. I only have whole wheat flour. Um, a large egg. We will only be using the egg white of. Cornstarch. Salt and pepper. But, first things first, the chicken breast. This is the cutting board I cut the red chili peppers on, as you can see. This is the cutting board I cut my meat on, for sanitary reasons. Cut your chicken into bite-sized pieces and put them into your mixing bowl. Now you wanna wash your hands under boiling hot water because you don't feel clean until it hurts. Shinzo, no! Let's make our batter. We need 50 grams of all-purpose flour. And 25 grams of cornstarch. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and pepper. I don't have white pepper. This is the tiniest whisk I have. So let's take our egg. Why only the egg white? Because of calories. And that's an experiment. Oh no, 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 we don't want to have that. Mm. 
Let me see why you want to use white pepper and all-purpose flour instead of whole wheat flour because of the color. It looks a little bit like troll boogers. Oh, oh god, I always have to sneeze from pepper. Thanks. Now take a spoon and mix that shit together. All right, preparing our sauce. We need 25 milliliters of water, one tablespoon of soy sauce. Two and a half tablespoons of vinegar. I don't have rice wine, so maybe I'm gonna add a little more vinegar later. I just don't wanna buy rice wine for just one recipe because I don't really enjoy it. Xylitol. Xylitolite, zero calories instead of sugar. Uh, you'll need the zest of half an orange, organic. And a little bit of orange juice. Let's give it a taste. Did I mention I hate Asian food? It's good to know it's not Asian, right? Hmm. Could use a little heat. I'm looking forward to the chili pepper. You know I want to save as much calories as possible, right? So I'm gonna try baking them instead of frying them. Just half of them to look um, if it works or not. Maybe it's going to be good, maybe it's going to be shit. So let's try that. I preheated the oven to 200 degrees C. I'm just gonna try a few pieces. And they go. Washing Toby's rice. Emberlyn's favorite rice, uh, the basamati. The rice is Emberlyn's kryptonite. I know that. I don't normally eat rice, so I'm gonna go with shirataki rice diet. Toby gets um, one and a half servings of rice with this, and yeah. But if you really want to have more on your plate, if this doesn't fill you up, uh, eat it with one or two servings of broccoli or any other vegetable. Wow, that doesn't look that good, does it? <laughs> oh well. The experiment is still going, but we're gonna pan fry the other half. Will you take a look at this cute little measuring cup? We're gonna use oil. Uh, oil. Why can't I say oil? Canola oil. This much. Well, we're gonna use it anyway. So, now that they're done, 
them in some paper towels to soak in excess, excess fat. We can still make our sauce in there. chicken and our pan fried chicken. So, it's almost ready. I'm just steaming my vegetables in the microwave and I'm gonna plate this up. See you then. This is it. Basically, what are they called? Sugar snaps? The orange chicken and shirataki rice style with soy sauce and sriracha sauce. Let's give that a quick taste before my phone dies. Tastes orangey. Tastes kind of Asian, but I'm missing the heat. I want like more chili on it or... Uh, yeah, that's basically the only thing I really miss. I don't know. Toby, you're Asian. What do you think? Can't talk, must eat. Disgusting. That's what I thought. This is a long video already, so let's wrap this all up. I really fucking enjoyed this dish. And I know why Amberlin loves it so much. But it's not um, the breading or the frying that makes this dish so special and so enjoyable. It's the sauce. The orange, the vinegar the sweetness and the hotness and uh, I should have made so much more of the sauce um, because that's not what pushes the calories up obviously that's the, the starch and the flour um, and the fat of course so uh, I'm gonna do this uh, recipe again but next time without the batter but with way more sauce I am glad to say that our version, um, our version of orange chicken had only 250 calories while having the same weight of 162 grams. I had a blast today cooking this meal and my roommate Toby was so happy I cooked a Chinese dish. Uh, he's Thai, but he's always happy when I cook something Asian. So, um, I'm excited. I'm excited for my next orange chicken experiment. I know what I did wrong this time and next time is going to be so much better. But until then, there are so many other foods I want to make a low calorie version of, so stay tuned. And um, if you have a favorite food that you want me to modify or see a lower calorie version of, um, please tell me in the comments. Leave a like and consider subscribing, that would be great. Stay strong during these troubling times. Wash your hands and believe me, it'll get better. Bye.